What is the feminist perspective on religion? Part 2. Feminists on Religion Introduction Elizabeth Stanton points out the Bible was written and edited by men to promote the premise that men should be in control and women do as men ask. Reuther indicates that religion endorses the God-talk message, meaning they come directly from God and justified inequality as God's will. Mary Daly Mary Daly held radical views that religion was based on hostility and hatred towards women, known as misogyny. She believed patriarchy was at the core of religion and was created by men to exploit women and condition them ideologically to accept this inequality as normal. This facilitated the belief of feminine evil as a myth which justified persecution of untrustworthy men. Daly's form of feminism is illustrated in her assessment of violence and damage caused by religion against women. Women have suffered mentally and physically based on theology, which was used to make women that choose abortions and use birth control feel guilty. It pressures women to submit to their husbands at home and to male leadership out of the home, thus degrading them verbally, symbolically, and personally. She feels women need to abandon religion so they can find respect and liberation. Daly identified the use of Bible stories to portray women as bad and needing men to save them from their problems, as in the story of Adam and Eve. Adam is the innocent and good protector of Eve who is bad, tempted by the devil, and does as he asks, disregarding Adam's and God's warnings. References to God as male reinforces patriarchy, equating male to God, and his power is naturally extended to all men, thus making them superior to women. This leads to Daly's term, super-male arrogance. This refers to religion in a functional and substantive way, such as, in civil religion, God's powers are applied to the president. In fact, Daly saw President Nixon's power result in violence in Vietnam, which was legitimized as the most unholy trinity of rape, genocide, and war is a logical extension of his phallocentric power. Evaluation of Daly Daly's views can be applied to the world's religions, such as in Hinduism. First Seth and Repstad point out that though Hinduism has many gods, most of them are male and the views of purity can be viewed as patriarchal. The Hindu holy book, the Vedas, indicates women are impure when they are menstruating and should not enter a temple. This sentiment can be viewed as religiously approved discrimination since if women cannot enter a temple, they cannot be equal to men. In Islam, the Quran indicates that men and women are equal before God, but also indicates good women are obedient. One hadith points out that the word of a woman is only worth half of that of a man as they're lacking intellect and rational thoughts. Hassan felt these inequalities upheld notions that men were stronger creators while women were temptresses preventing men to follow their religious and family responsibilities. This may appear in some interpretations of the texts, but can also be viewed as a foundation for laws made in Afghanistan when the Taliban took control in the 1990s. Thus, they applied strict interpretations of Sharia law with some basic rules. Females were not allowed to attend school or work, women leaving their house had to be accompanied by a relative, and females had to wear full body and face covering burqa in public. Feminism and Religiosity If religion is so patriarchal, then ask why so many women attend religious institutions and believe in God even more than men. Why then do women report higher levels of interest in religion with more of a personal commitment to religion? Daly and other radical feminists suggest this is due to undermining women, giving them no choice otherwise. Religion continues to make women feel they are unable to make decisions and need to rely upon men to tell them what to do. Evaluation of Feminism Religion may be less patriarchal and misogynistic than feminists suggest. Giardini sees feminist traits such as caring, forgiveness, and sympathy reflected in God in Christianity. Via indicates that Jesus blessed women and used them as positive role models in his parables and also displayed feminine traits as well. Linda Woodhead points out that feminists like Daly are too concerned with messages in religion rather than the real experiences of women. Feminists assume women are victims of patriarchy and religion. However, Woodhead points out women reinterpret religion to suit their needs. Men use patriarchal interpretations of God as a judge, ruler of the universe, and reflecting their roles, whereas women view God as caring, loving, and family-oriented as reflected in their roles. 
An example of this is the increasing number of white converts to Islam, where women make up 62%. The majority convert to marry a man of Islam. However, 45% of female converts join after finding out more about Islam and what's represented, but they don't see it as patriarchal. They feel conversion is positive, and 10% warned others about converting from marriage, feeling they should only convert if they feel Islam is true and appropriate for their norm and values. Conversion is not easy, as families of the converting women are met with confusion as to the women's motives, resulting in conflict. Women often found it was not easy to fit in or be accepted by other Muslims, and frustrated, they were given poorer facilities opposed to male Muslims. The March of Progress theory views society and religion as becoming less patriarchal. However, Woodhead indicates that religion has not changed fast enough, which has led to middle-class women seeking out other religions and spiritual expressions. Women use religion for access to friends and a supportive community. For example, Bernice Martin points out that female converts to Pentecostalism are attracted to this religion upon meeting friends at a church and using interpretations of this religion to moderate their husband's behavior, making them more family-oriented. This can apply to other religions as well. Leila Ahmed opposed white radical feminists' view of Muslim women being undermined by veils. She indicates that the hijab and niqab help Muslim women to avoid men's gazes and allows them access to places they may not visit otherwise.